So I want to show you a, another uh, potential use of Google Photos that makes use of a new feature uh, called, called Lens. Uh, it's kind of difficult to um, describe exactly what Lens is. My effort would be to say that it takes advantage of artificial intelligence to try to identify objects that appear within your photos. Um, <clears throat> maybe the best thing to do is just to do a, a few demonstrations. Uh, Lens is really designed for um, use on a phone. Uh, it was first introduced for Android devices. It's supposedly out for uh, iOS devices. Uh, unfortunately, I can't seem to <laughs> get the iOS version to show up, so it hasn't uh, rolled out to me yet. And so I'm going to try something a little different here. If, the, if, the, if this looks different, it's because uh, uh, I'm using my Chromebook, and Chromebook runs Android apps. Um, <clears throat> and it gives me a much larger image uh, to work with and for you for you to see. So, um, but this this is uh, what you would see when you uh, right now on the screen. What you would see when you uh, open up uh, Google Photos, and I I will uh, show you what happens when you uh, apply uh, Google Lens. So I want to start with uh, um, <clears throat> this example. Um, this is simply a uh, book cover of a friend, friend of mine from a, a friend of mine who writes uh, these, these mystery books. Um, <clears throat> and so Google Photos uh, and, and Lens has the capability to do what we used to call OCR, uh, op optical character recognition, but, but it'll do more. And it's this more that perhaps is the most impressive. This is the icon down here that... Uh, triggers lens and applies lens. So all I'm going to do is activate this. Uh, you see the magic happening, I guess. And <clears throat> what, what, what it's done uh, at the bottom is to uh, uh, identify um, this book. It's, it's taken the text from it. And you can see that it's, that it's, that it's actually looked up some additional information uh, about the book. So I can literally go now to Google and, and, and uh, just using this link and find other information, reviews, etc. Uh, about the book. You can see it shows up over here. It's uh, um, pr pr pretty interesting and obviously it's, it's, uh, it's beyond no normal character recognition. Let me, let me show you a couple of other things. I'm just going to back up, take a second or so. Back to my collection. Um, we we were just uh, had the opportunity to go to Rome and you know uh, walk around with all the other tourists. Um, you can maybe tell just by a couple images here that that I like to take pictures. I actually like to take pictures of uh, interesting things without people in them, if possible. But one of the problems with this and and, and uh, uh, maybe a difference in how I appreciate my life experiences is uh, um, I probably didn't pay enough attention to the history and the backstory of all these uh, old, old uh, uh, ruins, buildings that, uh, that are up here in Rome. And so you get home and you show people this picture and they want to know what that is. And uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't, didn't really pay enough attention to know. I mean, this is the truth. Um, but it's a nice picture, I think. <clears throat> but but um, let me uh, apply Google Lens to this and show you what happens. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here we go again. And uh, I should know how to pronounce this, but I don't. Um, the Marcello Theater, perhaps. Um, plus, plus, not only does it identify it, and you can see a very nice match here, but it um, it'll it'll find it found already uh, a reference uh, that provides more information. That just a few first lines appear here in uh, in Wikipedia. Now, so that's that's pretty impressive. Um, 
you know, the artificial intelligence and, and, and how it uh, can identify this. Um, and, and then, um, and, and then prime, uh, find me a, uh, an additional source. So it's not just saying this is the name of this, but uh, if you want to know more, here, here you go. Let me try one more thing here. Um, one of the things, I'm looking for a particular picture. One of the things that struck me, <laughs> strangely enough, perhaps, in, in Rome with, was, was, was just how many scooters um, were, were running around. And I, I saw this one that looked interesting, so I took the picture. Um, and let me apply um, lens to, to, this, to this picture, and let's see what happens. So um, what it's done <laughs> is to identify this uh, as a Vespa, which I do think it is. Um, and, uh, of course, it's Italian, very popular brand. Um, but just the capability of even knowing what kind of scooter this happens to be is, is a pr pretty interesting. Plus, again, there's the Wikipedia link um, <clears throat> and another Vespa that you can compare if you're questioning the identification a very interesting capability let, let, let me show you one more thing uh, and then maybe a few more comments um, oops so I have a selfie here and I want to demonstrate something because I think a lot of people are uh, concerned about this capability and and they see it as a potential invasion of pi privacy in that if you just took pictures on the street would you be able to identify the individuals that you that you that you pictured um, you may you may know that you know there are in fact uh, capabilities such as this within several um, image storage systems that will identify um, relatives and show you all the pictures for a particular relative uh, your kids etc um, but but the application to finding people on the street I think is what really kind of concerns people and I'm not saying that capability isn't there I'm saying show you something with this uh, not a particularly attractive picture but but uh, anyway see what what it says right here is Lens doesn't recognize people. And I've read that it will recognize what it describes as celebrities. And clearly, you know, it has other pictures of me in my Google Photos collection, but it, uh, it, it, it does not um, <clears throat> make the effort to, to identify just, just random people. So, so that's a concession to, to these security concerns.